Under the cover of darkness, June 13, 1942, German U-boats send eight saboteurs ashore in America. Four land in Amagansett, Long Island. The other four spies land just after midnight on the beach of Ponte Vedra, Florida. Expertly trained to pass as Americans, fluent in English, explosives, chemistry, and secret codes, the Nazi threat to America was on its shores and moving inland. Operation Pastorius had begun. During World War II, German U-boats off of the Atlantic seaboard were destroying shipping destined for the European front. In 1942, U-boats would destroy 22% of the tanker fleet and sink 233 ships in the Atlantic and Gulf of Mexico, killing 5,000 sailors and passengers. The coast off of Duval and St. John's County would be no stranger to direct action by U-boats. On April 10, 1942, just after 10 in the evening, Jacksonville Beach residents heard an explosion off the coast. Unknown at the time, the Gulf America, an 8,000-ton tanker on its maiden voyage, was foundering from a torpedo strike. Without warning, people watched as the subsurfaced, maneuvered between the pier and the ship, and using its deck gun, sent the Gulf America to the bottom of the sea. The Germans did not choose Ponte Vedra, Florida by accident to implement Operation Pastorius. With major military bases like Camp Landing, the training airfield in St. John's County, and the shipping port in Jacksonville with easy access to industry and rail, we were a target. Operation Pastorius was designed to last two years, sowing confusion and hampering the U.S. effort by destroying key infrastructure. The Germans who landed in Ponte Vedra were carrying the explosives meant to harm the war effort. Two of the saboteurs, Ernst Berger and Herbert Haupt, had been born in Germany, lived in the U.S., and returned to Germany. In fact, all of these Germans had lived in the U.S. at one point. After the first team landed in New York, one of the men was discovered by a U.S. Coast Guardsman patrolling the beach. He released the saboteur, but reported the incident to his superiors. By the time an armed team arrived at the beach, all four had already taken the train to New York City. The four spies who landed in Ponte Vedra Beach buried their explosives in the sand and boarded trains for Chicago and Cincinnati. Their plan was to meet on July 4th in Cincinnati and coordinate their efforts from there. While still in New York, one of the Germans, George Dash, told Ernst Berger he had no intention of carrying out the mission. Berger agreed, and they turned themselves into the FBI on June 14, 1942. None of the other German agents were any the wiser. The FBI arrested all eight and held a secret tribunal sentencing all of them to death. President Roosevelt commuted Dash's sentence to 30 years and Berger to life in prison. The other six were executed by electric chair and buried in Potter's Field. In 1948, President Truman granted clemency to Dash and Berger, and they were deported to the American zone in occupied Germany. A historical marker about Operation Pastorius is located in St. John's County at 200 Ponte Vedra Boulevard. Thank you for watching this Finding St. John's video. If you like my local productions, please subscribe to and share this channel.